think I'm just a young woman that's about to hit a midlife crisis and is about to turn 30. And right now I'm just trying to enjoy my 20s <laughs> and enjoy life and just have fun and enjoy every moment. Life's not that serious. I grew up in Hillbro. I grew up in Yeovil. You know, that's where I come from and stuff like that. So I'm very streetwise as well. I started acting at the age of seven, but it wasn't something um, I feel like I went and pursued. I feel as though it was a calling. I think we are all gifted with the different gifts in order for us to minister those gifts to um, in different ways and to different people. So I think for me, my calling was to tell stories, to tell people's stories, to play these characters, and to give them a voice. And yeah, I think for more so for me, it's really good. They require, in order for you to be, you, you have to be truthful. You, there is no way you can be fake. And so for me, it takes mind, body, spirit, emotional. It takes a lot of, it's like, a, it's like a, a big machine in order for it to work. And so I have to be truthful to the character. I have to be truthful and be honest to my, uh, honest for my character. And to be honest with you, after I've, let's say, after the scene is done, every time with every emotional scene, it takes a while to come out of it. Cause it's a, you have to give all that you are and you have to be honest. And so therefore it takes such a long time for me to actually come out of it. So I'm, by the time I'm done, because the amount of takes you've done, the amount of times you've had to do it, it takes such a long time to actually come out of it. And so sometimes I'm actually depressed and I just want to go and drink after that. I started with ETV when I was 21. You know, my first show, my first uh, debuted into the industry and stuff and that was with Scandal. I played Ruby, I was 21 years old. <laughs> I was so cute, I was so young. I was like seven, eight years ago. Um, and then with Hustle, with Harvest and with Rhythm City, I think looking at all the four characters I've played are very different and I'm, I mean, I'm proud of that. The one thing I like to do is not to be stereotyped and to play one type, uh, be a, like one type actor and being able just to play that. But um, if you look at all these characters I, I've played, I feel like they're very different <clears throat> and they come from different backgrounds and required so much and different truths within them. And I think they were beautiful, beautiful women, you know? Um, yeah, I've really grown with ETB. Well, first of all, <laughs> I don't go around killing people, that's one. <laughs> Two, um, I, I mean, very different. You know, very, of course it's very different. We have two different upbringings and stuff. But I think the key is for me with every character I play and you know what I've also been taught and I learn from other actors, those older than me, even younger than me, is you always have to try and find the character within myself. So obviously, like I said to you, I grew up on the streets. I grew up um, streetwise. I, you can put me in town today and you like, you know what I mean? I know how to look after myself. And so it's finding those, it's finding the character within you and sort of, you don't go outside to look for a character. The character is always within you. We are multi-layered people. And therefore, depending on circumstances, depending whether you've eaten, whether you've not, how you would react to different situations, whether you were put in certain circumstances, what would you do? And so the key is always finding the character within you. So yes, I may have had a total upbringing from Lizzie, but Lizzie is there somewhere. You know, she's in all of us. <laughs> You know, when I first, when I got the role, I didn't know who Pearl was as well. Do you know what I mean? And I didn't really understand or know, or I didn't know if I got her. Do you know what I mean? 
it was sort of like thrown in the deep end and I had to tell this girl's truth, you know? And it was frustrating because I was like, who is she, you know? And she's obviously David Gennaro's daughter that he didn't obviously know about. Um, Tina Jatla plays Andiswa, who is Pearl's mom. And Pearl has also grown up, um, Ikas, she's grown up with her mom. Pearl um, has always been lied to about who her dad actually was. She thought it was some colored guy, some way wanted nothing to do with her and stuff. And um, so she's always grown up with her mom, Andiswa, and they've always hustled. They've hustled either stealing clothes, selling clothes, they've hustled men. Her mom has not really been the greatest example of how to be as a woman. So Pearl's got a lot of, she has daddy issues, if you call it that. She is, she gives herself easily to men and she's rejected. And the rejection, like, honestly destroys her because she's always, she doesn't really understand her worth and her value as a woman because she's never had that figure or anyone give her that. So she's just a young woman trying to find herself in this world between two crazy and absurd parents and in this world in Rhythm City and trying to find out and trying to find herself and who she is and what she wants. Um, <clears throat> because I knew, ne? you might ask this question and we all know what supreme means so i actually went to google and actually researched what does it actually mean and it has all these amazing things um from phenomenal supreme to superiority to phenomenal to rare to peerless to yo there's so many words i could use to describe lead one of the, you know, leading, chief, like it's so many like words to, um, to, to describe Supreme. And what does it mean to me? First of all, I was shocked, eh? I don't want to lie. I was very shocked. I mean, the, <laughs> I mean, I'm just, um, I'm not one for the spotlight. I'm not one for that. I'm always like, I'll do what I have to do and I'll be in the background. For me, it's honestly, it's an honor. It's, I'm thankful and I'm grateful. I'm shocked, but I'm very touched. Like it's, it means a lot. It means that you are valued, you are appreciated. And the fact that, um, you know, ETV was such a, a big and broad channel can actually select me. me. <laughs> I'm just very, I'm very grateful and very honored.